Guys, this is Mr. Roxy coming at you live from Palm Beach in Florida. I would have been with you much sooner today. It is Oxy Day. It is February the 24th. It's about 7.20 p.m. The reason why I'm late is because some guy rear-ended me today when I was driving late afternoon, which uh, meant I wasn't able to kind of function as normal because everything got delayed and everything kind of got, you know, like the nuisance factor in terms of someone driving into you is just like off the charts, you know, anyway. You all stay safe. I hope no one drives into you ever. Anyway, here I am. It is, uh, as I said, about 7.20. It is Oxy Day, which means it is February the 24th. And um, Oxy actually reported today. Now, a couple of interesting things happened today, and I'm going to call this one the sort of uh, unedited version um, of uh, the uh, Q4 earnings release. And uh, at the same time, obviously, that would include 2021, the full fiscal year. But uh, before we get into that, let's have just a little bit of fun. So um, Dr. Yidi Zhang on, on the channel said, um, obviously, prior to the release a few days ago, four days ago, I predict uh, Q4 revenue to be $8 billion and $3.7 billion free cash flow. What's your estimate? Then he said, I made a mistake in my calculation. It should have been $7.3 billion revenue and $2.8 billion free cash flow. So uh, I said, hey, Yudi, I am at 7.3 to $7.4 billion in revenue with free cash flow close to three. Now, we are just having some fun here, but it's uh, kind of cool anyway. It's interesting, right? Jimmy Huang added that asset sales of approximately three quarters of a billion should also be included in this quarter. But then what happened? So here's uh, the interesting stuff. This is the backstory, right? So while I was out there getting uh, involved in a car crash, um, blowout earnings leaked. This is Eastern time, 2.43 PM. Now you may recall that Oxy was going to release their earnings after the bell closed or after the close of market trading on February the 24th. And the market sure does not close at um, 2.30 p.m. or thereabouts. This is 2.43 p.m. February the 24th today. Blowout earnings leaked, says Danger Bird. What blowout earnings leaked, Danger Bird? Well, Oxy, price action sure is wild. Oxy, 37, 39, then rapid cooling. So um, who leaked the earnings? Well, I think, and I may be wrong, but I think it was fact set. And uh, who knows where they got it, but... Anyway, they got it and they released the earnings and it was correct, you know? So uh, it was kind of really interesting stuff that's going on here because effectively, um, as I said, while I was uh, out um, speaking to cops because my car was getting crashed into, uh, Philip over here tweeted, this is at 253, Oxy earnings per share, buck 48 versus $1.10 estimated revenue, 7.9 billion. Hey, Dr. Yiddy, we should have stayed closer to that 8 billion. Uh, we were probably a little bit too conservative, right? But uh, anyway, so all this stuff happened before Oxy actually officially reported their earnings or released their earnings for Q4 and um, as I said earlier, 2021. So uh, let's take a look at Oxy here. Um, this is uh, not really meaningful in the greater scheme of things. Up uh, just a little smidge today, 23 cents or 0.59%. Uh, during the regular day's trading, excuse me while I have a sip of coffee. After hours, this is live, this is uh, right now, 7.22 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Oxy is up about 2% or thereabouts. Still below $40, so uh, we still got a ways to go. Um, and I think Oxy will be rewarded for this one. But let's uh, quickly get into the meat on the bone here. And what I'm gonna do guys is this, I'm just gonna go through, um, the sort of superficial, high-level, glossy, marketing-related type stuff here. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, when I have time, assuming I have time tomorrow, uh, I will go into the uh, 10K and look at the Q filing and all that kind of stuff and see what actually went on. So uh, here's the uh, news about the conference call, which is happening tomorrow. Fourth quarter 2021 earnings presentation is happening tomorrow, February 25th, 2022. I'm going to try and make that one. If I don't make it, then uh, I will certainly download and read the transcript later. Here's the press release. So here's the highlights reel. Announced a new shareholder return framework and additional debt reduction target. 
Earnings per share of one buck thirty-seven per diluted and undiluted a dollar forty-eight per diluted share. What a great performance, Occidental. Well done. Cash flow from continuing operations of three point two billion, and cash flow from continuing operations before working capital of three point nine billion dollars. Man, that's pretty good. This is for the quarter, remember? Capital spending of 937 million, resulting in record free cash flow, excluding working capital of over $2.9 billion. Reduced debt maturity by $2.2 billion through debt tender and 2022 maturity core provisions, resulting in a total year debt maturity reduction for the fiscal year of 2021 of almost $7 billion, $6.7 billion. Oxychem, as usual, generated record quarterly pre-tax earnings exceeded production guidance midpoint by 49 million barrels per day with production average from continuing operations of 1.2 almost million barrels of oil equivalent per day let's take a quick look at the um, at the slides for the uh, for the quarter this is coming up in the conference call so I'm not going to dwell on this but I do want to kind of quickly go into the first six actually the first four because I'm going to skip this one which is the header and then the next one which is basically the cautionary statement so it's skip over that one and then we get to the outline so i can skip over that one too which means i only got three left so not going to keep you too long here but let's see what's going on here delivering cash flow priorities de-risk complete they basically are saying that they have repaired their balance sheet and um you know what they are correct maintain production substantial cost structure improvement and deployment of best in class capital resolved near-term refinancing risk the deleverage will continue the near-term re reduce the near-term targets reduced net debt to 20 billion. Previously, in the previous conference call, they said, let's see if we can get the debt down to 25 billion. In the medium term, regain investment grade credit ratings. That's going to come up sooner than later because um, Oxy is doing really good work in terms of balance sheet repair here. And the mere fact that they're targeting uh, long-term debt to 20 billion is very impressive. Longer term debt reduction to remain a cash flow priority. Return capital initiated. So, this is good news for um, common stockholders. The quarterly common dividend increase to 13 cents per share. That's quarterly, right? So, 13 cents per share would be 52 cents per year. Now, on an annualized basis, if you're getting a dividend of, um, you know, uh, 50 cents and you are fortunate enough maybe to have a um, cost basis of 10 bucks. Then 50 cents is 5%. So that ain't half bad. Uh, of course, conversely, you could say, um, you know, even with a low cost basis in the teens or $20 something cost basis, uh, 52 cents per share is actually looking pretty good to start with. However, here's the, the um, very important line because Occidental said that they would only reinstate the dividend if they can uh, effectively have a sustainable dividend. And they're saying the common dividend is sustainable at a price of $40 WTI. Now, um, I don't want to be too bold here, but we're a long way away from 40. We are closer to $100 uh, per barrel of WTI than 40. So uh, very cautious here, um, commendable, well done. And here's another one that uh, most of the common stockholders will really appreciate, a $3 billion share repurchase program. Two more, a couple of achievements, 2021 record free cash flow before working capital of $8.8 .8 $8 dollars. Man, that's amazing. Retired $6.7 billion of debt. Large scale divestiture program complete substantial progress towards net debt target of 25 billion. Now, just a minute ago, I said now they're targeting 20 billion. Good job, Oxy. Operational, uh, it's okay. Environmental, yeah, whatever. As long as that makes you happy, that's fine. Let's take a look at the fourth quarter, 2021 performance, $2.9 billion free cash flow generation. That is just astounding. Well done. Great job. Oil and gas, strong operational performance with 1.19 million barrels of oil equivalent per day. $2.2 billion of debt has been repaid. The fourth consecutive quarter of record free cash flow generation, Oxychem highest earnings in over 30 years. What a cash cow Oxychem Kim has uh, proven to be for Occidental Petroleum. And a cash balance, that ain't half bad, $2.8 billion on the books. 
Uh, let's see what it says here at the bottom. There's a couple of footnotes here, right? So number one, unrestricted cash and cash equivalent. So that's the uh, little footnote there that says 2.8 billion number one. So um, guys, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause for just a second. Uh, we'll call this the uh, sort of um, director's cut, uh, unedited. Uh, it's it's live. It's raw. It's like whatever whatever I said in real time. That's what you're getting. It's not edited in any way whatsoever. It provides us with a highlights reel of Occidental. Um, tomorrow is the uh, conference call, and uh, at the same time, as I mentioned at the start, I'll take a little bit of time to uh, kind of review the SEC filings, take a look at the balance sheet, look at the fundamentals, see where we're going, see if it's still worthwhile, <laughs> still remaining uh, invested in Occidental or not. Either way, a good day for Occidental, not necessarily a good day for the market, but that's perhaps a topic for uh, another video. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on and the media wants us to think it's all about Russia and Ukraine, but there are many macro influences and factors that are impacting the market negatively. Uh, and some of the stuff is not good and we need to be aware. We need to stay vigilant, diligent, and uh, make sure that you pay attention to your investments as if your life depends on it, because it does. If your life doesn't depend on it, maybe your wealth depends on it, but you need to uh, basically make sure that you stay on top of your investments. So on that note, this is Mr. Oxy signing off until maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I'll do it as quickly as I can and get back to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.